Now, Teva Investment Corporation and Dubai-based Mohebi Logistics have partnered to acquire an 80% equity interest in Gourmet Fresh. To give us more insights into the deal, we are joined now by Jerry Mabena, is the CEO of Teva Services Division, and Mohamed Mohebi, he is the CEO of Zainal Mohebi Holdings. Gentlemen, lovely to have you. Jerry, let's start off with you. Talk us through this transaction and what it actually means for Teva and how it, in, it fits in with your strategy. Thank you very much. And, uh I think from a table point of view, our chairman was here I think, not so long ago, celebrating our, our achievements within a South African context. But in terms of our growth strategy, I think we have identified the logistics uh, sector as one of our growth areas. So this particular transaction really represents our entry into this particular foray. And I think we went our, our, our way, so thought that we should find a, a good partner who has made successes in different parts of the world where we probably could learn a lot of, lot of stuff with them and then they should use it to drive growth into the African continent because we believe that there's a lot of opportunity there. The partner you're referring to is sitting next to you, not Indeed. so? Mohammed, yes. perhaps if you can enlighten us as to how this conversation kicked off. Well, as most things in life, it always starts out with a personal story. I traveled to South Africa two and a half years ago and I was enchanted, to say the least. And ever since then, I've been looking for an opportunity to come in. I think it's a beautiful country with a great potential and most of all, there's an appetite here to learn, to expand, and there's a, real there's a real sense of wanting to do something far more than what has been done now. Uh, Tebe was a natural choice, a very strong South African company uh, who has desires to go into new industries and to be able to uh, add value mm -hmm. both to empowerment, South African empowerment, and to create a South African entity where we can then export it to other African countries. So versus bringing in a foreign company and branding as a foreign organization, it's better to start creating South African know-how and export that. Mm. So this is the model that we're using versus the traditional uh, agency kind of a, uh, uh, deal. Right. Mm. Jerry, picking up on that point mm -hmm. that uh, Mohammed has made about expansion into Africa, share with us which markets are at the top of your list in terms of from South Africa, where else are you going and how are you all hoping to penetrate those markets? I think the first thing you've got to start at home. Um, we've got to really launch our business. We've got to entrench it within the South African market. We have some exciting projects that are coming up. Unfortunately, I can't disclose the majority of them. But you can but, disclose uh, one or two of them. No, no, the number one, country, huh? absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I think the number one is a, comes out of the relationship that Tebe already has with a company called um, Compass, which is one of the world's largest catering businesses. The beauty of this relationship is that we both have relationships with Compass, where mohebi has got a relationship with them um, in the UAE we have a relationship with them in the South African context. So between the two of us, we've partnered then to take those two relationships and use them to grow the business into the African continent. So key to that is that we're launching in South Africa and then we will be identifying the next logical markets, I think are going to be in the Southern Hemisphere, mm. Mozambique being one of them. Probably, I think we're looking at uh, a number of transactions further up north, I think Angola being a possibility, um, and one other countries in, in, in West Africa. Well, you the two of your parents of a new company called Gourmet Fresh. Perhaps if you can tell us who are they, what do they do, and how they uh, fill or rather link up with uh, the, the operations that you currently take care of. Well, Gourmet Fresh is an existing company. Uh, Tebe and ourselves decided to come in as new partners and take over uh, major majority, 80% uh, combined. We'll be rebranding it under the Tebe Mohebi name. Um, we will, of course, be enforcing its operational uh, excellence. We'll be bringing in best practices that we use currently in the UAE. As you know, UAE in particular Dubai is at the forefront of logistics. Mm -hmm. It's where East meets West and it's a central point for the Mina Pak area. So uh, we have had a lot of experiences uh, dealing with highly demanding uh, customers uh, mm -hmm. out, of, out of that area. Those are the best practices that we would like, we would like to introduce into, into the new joint venture. And we are very, very confident that it will be a very successful venture. Well, one of the markets you didn't list when you were talking about your new markets, Jerry, is Zimbabwe was notably off your list. And if we uh, cast our eye back to about two or three weeks ago, we heard that the Zimbabwean government had banned all imports of fresh produce uh, coming into the country. Is that a, a concern for you and something that would keep you away from the Zimbabwean market? Not at all. Not at all. I think what, what we try and do in our business, we really look for opportunities where we work with particular clients. So to the, to the extent that we will have a client who actually seeks to um, launch into the Zimbabwean market, we'll certainly be looking at that. I still believe that that's probably going to be a temporary ban. I think it will go at some point very soon, and we will be looking at that very closely to see when the opportunity opens itself up.